He's been dead since 1924, but everywhere you look in Moscow, Lenin and his legacy are alive and well. Street names, buildings and statues throughout the capital and across the country still bear the name of the revolutionary leader and founder of the Soviet state. No state official is ready to renounce the country's Soviet heritage because it's tightly linked to the notion of power. The Soviet Union's superpower emerged after the war under Stalin, so we can't get rid of Lenin. Built in 1935, the Moscow subway system, which today carries an average of 7 million passengers every day, is named after Lenin. There's a monument to the Soviet leader in every Russian city, however small. Lenin's embalmed corpse is still on display in the heart of Moscow, in a mausoleum on Red Square. The Russian government is set to spend 170,000 euros this year preserving it. While older generations view Lenin with fondness, the younger generation are less nostalgic. Today we have other important personalities. He's already ancient history. I think we need to move the mausoleum out of here, maybe to a place where his relatives could bury him with all the honours he deserves. Red Square has other purposes and we live in a different time now. A poll conducted in 2014 showed that more than 60% of Russians were in favour of keeping monuments to Lenin, while 20% wanted to see them gone. But as Russia prepares for the 100th anniversary next year of the October Revolution, the figure of Lenin will continue to loom large over the nation.